What's up, Gun Freak Nation? Salute. I just want to um <clears throat> I want y'all to stay on y'all P's and on y'all um P's and Q's, man. Um I got some footage that I want to um, share um, about the the um, Freedom Holsters um, gun shop robbery. And let me say this. Let's be clear about it. I call it Freedom Holsters, but the gun shop is actually called Armed. It's actually called Armed in Michigan. But because... When I first, you know, uh, found out about them, <clears throat> they was under the name Freedom Holsters. That's because Spencer, he makes custom holsters. So it actually is two names. It's Freedom Holsters and uh, uh, Armed in Michigan, man. Shout out to everybody, man. It's some, it's some, it's some video. <laughs> hey, let me, let me. <laughs> hey, yo, 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 yo. It's a crew of savages. Let me say this shit. It's, it's a fucking crew of fucking savages that's hitting these motherfucking gun shops, man. And who knows who's behind this shit? For all, for all we know, it might be the motherfucking government. That might be a reason for them to crack down on the regular folks like us having guns. Now, I hear the latest is that these fucking credit cards and all this shit is tracking people who buy firearms through their credit cards, making making firearm purchases with their credit cards. They said Biden and the ATF want the credit cards to track the people down. What the fuck? What? Oh. Let me tell you something, man. Mm. This shit... Yo, this shit is crazy. <laughs> let me let me say something. Let me say something. Let me say something. Yo, 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 yo. Let me say something, man. And I don't want people to take this shit the wrong way, but one of them motherfucking gun shops that I went to, it wasn't a gun shop, it was a pawn shop. Remember, hey, if y'all follow me, if y'all follow me, one of these motherfucking pawn shops I went to for the first time, this was like in the middle of COVID. Man, them motherfuckers tried to charge me $45 for... Um, <laughs> these motherfuckers tried to charge me $45 for 15 bullets. I was trying to get some, um, some 45 ACP for... I forget what gun I had. I might have had that motherfucking... Uh, uh, yo, I might have had that motherfucking banji at the time, and I wanted to get me some ammo. I wanted some hollow points, right? So I went up in that motherfucker, and I asked for some hollow points, and uh, them motherfuckers tried to charge me $45 for 15 hollow points. Then they had a micro Draco for $2,000. So you know what? That's highway robbery right there, man. That's highway motherfucking robbery. And guess what? The same motherfucking shop that tried to rob me got fucking robbed by the fucking savages, man. Somebody somebody hit them too. I just found that shit out uh, uh, tonight on the news. They got hit too. They got hit too. You know what? I heard about PNB getting hit by a motherfucking savage at the uh, waffle and ch chicken and waffle house. I didn't know. I ain't never heard any of his music. But rest in peace, brother. I hate to see anybody that's making a legit living and to get you know killed like that, man. Rob, man, rest in peace. Rest in peace.
But um, these fucking savages, what's what's going on with this credit card shit? And then, unfortunately, y'all, in Chicago, or well, Illinois, fe- uh, January 1st, 2023, it's going to be the purge. It's going to be the purge, man. I don't... I, oh, my God. I, 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 I need to play that fucking video. I need to play that goddamn video. But, yeah, um, I just want to show y'all some of the um, news footage that I collected from the um, Armed in Michigan, fr- a.k.a. Freedom Holsters. I want to show y'all some news footage. You know these motherfucking bastards got away with over... These motherfuckers got got away with over 100 guns. Now, that's 100 guns that's on the streets that's going to be in the wrong fucking hands. That's 100 motherfucking guns that's going to be in the fucking... Hey, New Orleans, I'm cool, bro. I'm I'm cool, nephew. But um, I want to uh, show some footage. Um, what up, everybody, man? Let me before I show this footage. I want to salute everybody that's in here, man. I love y'all. You hear me? I love y'all. We about to hear that. We about to be 18,000 up in here. Hey, Brian M., I love you, man. I'm live, brother. I love you, Brian M. I love you, George Contreras. I love you, Lego Man. I love you, Carlos Franklin. I love you, The Real Fight for Blacks. I love you, Big Bad Bo or Big Bad Ball. I love you. <clears throat> I love you, Kenny Jenkins. I love you, Matt Bittner. I love you, G Divine. I love you, What's Up. I love you, Real Power TV. I love you, John Sams Jr. I love you, James Watkins. I love you, John Sams Jr. I, I just said that. Um, I love you, Master Alex. Um, I love you, Mike uh, Vermal- Vermalia. Mike Vermaille, I love you, man. I love you, Dante Swain. I love you, the tactical gunner. I love you, tactical skill in their defense. I love you, Brett. What up, nephew? I love you, LL Top Dollar. I love you, Operator. I love you, Billy, Billy Young. I love you, Go Slide. Um, I appreciate every single one of y'all, man. I want I just want to come on here for a little while and um you know, show some of the news footage that I that I found, and come to find out, I believe this is the same crew that's going around hitting these gun shops and these pawn shops. If you got guns, man, if you a gun shop, first of all, strengthen up your um security at your shop. Now, let me say this: me and my girl, I was at Freedom Holsters. I kid you not. And, and forgive me if I'm if I'm judging somebody. On their appearance or, or or whatever. But when we were there, it was a young dude, man. <clears throat> Almost better than pussy, goddammit. Pussy juice. But anyway, it was a young dude. And I I'm not one to judge. I'm not one to profile, but something, you know, when you have a, a, a intuition, when you know something is just not right, when you see somebody and they just ain't just the energy and the vibe and they just look suspicious, it was a dude, a young dude went up in there and he was just acting weird. To the point to where I'm busy, you know, live streaming from from um Spencer's shop, right? So I wasn't really, you know, 
paying attention to it like that until I just, I said, wait a minute, this dude is just standing around and he's looking and he's he's got his camera and he's, and you know, Spencer was like, can I help you? He was like, no, nah, man, I'm good. I'm just, I'm up here just uh, taking pictures of guns for, for somebody. Now, I'm not saying he had anything to do with it, but it just didn't feel right. It didn't look right. He was looking suspicious as fuck to the point to where I started washing his ass. Like I can tell, I just, it was just something. It was just something off about it. And it just looked at suspicious. And what, well, lo and behold, two weeks later, boom, it's a fucking smash and grab, man. They said over a hundred guns was stolen from my boy Spencer. That's fucked up. He said they got the good stuff, y'all. I don't know what the fuck going on, but credit card companies are turning on us, trying to report us. I ain't never bought no gun with a uh, a credit card or a debit card. I always have paid cash. Wait a minute, I think one time I did. I think I did pay half debit and half cash or some shit. But anyway, they're supposed to be tracking us now, y'all. They're supposed to be tracking us. And they said Biden's administration's goal is to get guns out of American citizens' hands. So what that's some bullshit right there. But anyway, it's 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 some video that I want to um I want to uh play for y'all. So I'm about to hit that motherfucking share button. And y'all need to see this shit for real. Y'all need to see this shit right here. All right, let me know. Can y'all see that? Can y'all see that? Let me uh hold on. Can y'all see this? Obviously, y'all can see it. Yeah, we're gonna have to pay for cash. What up, though, Action Jackson? I love you, brother. Sean Breezy, I love you, brother. Uh, let's go up in here. In Wayne County, on high alert tonight, dozens of stolen guns now on the streets following a string of break-ins. Thieves targeting a shop in Westland and in Dearborn Heights this weekend. Nearly 100. My bad. Hold on, y'all. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't Hello. fucked up. Hold on. Did I fuck up? Yeah, I don't fucked up. I gotta find that right there. There it is. Can y'all see it? Dozens of stolen guns now on high alert tonight. Dozens of stolen guns now on the streets following a string of break-ins. Thieves targeting a shop in Westland. And in Dearborn Heights this weekend, nearly 100 guns stolen from these stores. For perspective, in all of 2021, 193 guns were stolen from Michigan gun shops. Surveillance video from the store in Westland shows the thieves filing into the store after plowing their car into it. 7 National News reporter Brett Cass spoke to the store owner in Westland and has the latest on the ATF investigation. Like this gun shop in Westland, they have all the doors and some of the windows covered with this metal shuttering. They even have a big barricade set up here in the back to prevent someone from driving through. The owner says the only way someone could actually break in here is by being bold enough to drive through the front. Immediately after smashing a car through the front, eight people rush inside this Westland gun shop, grabbing as much as they can. In less than a minute, the owner says about 50 guns were stolen. And they've sure been here because they got the good stuff. They got the expensive stuff. Owner Spencer Wong says thousands of dollars worth of long guns and mainly pistols were taken. Those weapons are now in the hands of criminals. It hurts. It truly does hurt because they're whatever they do with the guns, we don't know what they're going to do, where they're going to do it at. A similar incident also happened around the same time, about eight miles down the road in Dearborn Heights, where thieves broke through the front. Oh, wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Let me say something. You see that motherfucker right there where it say Jerry and Long, the gun thing? Them the same. They the ones that tried to get up. Never mind, man. They the ones that tried to charge me $45 for 
for 15 bullets and was trying to charge charge a two thousand dollars for a micro draco i'm just putting it out there i ain't saying they deserve to have their shit robbed but they're the same motherfuckers that tried to rob me that's all i'm saying they tried to rob my motherfucking ass when they told me they wanted 45 dollars for 15 bullets i walked my motherfucking black ass up out of there that's all i'm saying y'all i ain't saying they deserve to be hit like that but I'm just saying they tried to get down on the president and try to run. What up, those say fine and tried to get me, goddammit. You feel me? Do you understand what I'm saying? But here we go, goddammit. Front of the CC Coins Jewelry and Loan on West Warren. The ATF and Dearborn Heights Police are sharing these photos of the suspects who returned the very next night, again driving through the store. In total, another 50 guns were stolen. They don't care that they'll just come. It's kind of savage. He'll do whatever they want. They don't care. As for Wong's shop, he says plenty of security was already in place, but clearly more. Damn, they took the pink gun. I mean, we even have a barricade. I remember that pink AR-15. Crazy enough to drive through the front and put a barricade, um, but we will be putting more stuff around the building so no one can drive through it again. If you recognize anyone in those surveillance photos from Dearborn Heights, the ATF is putting out a $20,000 reward for information. If you know anything, you can contact them at 888-ATF-TIPS. In Westland, I'm Brett Cass, 7 Action News. That is so fucking, that's so fucked up. That is so fucked up. They took the fucking pink gun, goddammit. And you saw... Did you see, you see what I, hey, y'all thought I was making this shit up? Did y'all think I was lying when I'm telling y'all that it's like eight to, like five to eight savages coming in your shit? Y'all thought I was making that shit up? Did y'all see how many of them motherfucking savages that went up in there? Man, them motherfuckers was eight deep. Eight of them. And they had their own motherfucking security. They own motherfucking lookout. Professional motherfucking savages using t being tactical. They said these motherfuckers had backup security to watch out for the police while they in there snatching the fucking guns. And that's exactly how they coming in your house nowadays, man. And you got this old geezer, this old funky ass motherfucking biting, wanting to disarm us and only say all you need is an ammo for motherfucking hunting motherfucking shotgun what the fuck a, a ammo fud shotgun gonna do against eight motherfucking savages coming in your goddamn house the shit is all fucked up what up those silver rings i love you silver rings what up boy the wretch i love you tim i tried to call you tim Timmy, I tried to call you. I know you tried to call me too. Listen, these fucking savages has gotten. What's up, um, uh, 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 Clifton Burks? Hey, you saw all those savages, right? Well, they coming up in your house like that nowadays. I've been telling y'all that for years, and you got this old ass shitting on the self ass. Uh, 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 crazy ass, uh, 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 biting. Matter of fact, that nigga ain't crazy at all. He know exactly what the fuck he doing. It's demonic. He's trying to disarm us. He's trying to take away our, uh, you know, our livelihood, our guns, our, our, um, our, our livelihood, because that's how we fucking stay alive amongst these fucking savages. And this old geezer, is trying to disarm us. Look what we're look what we are up against. Now he don't got in cahoots with the fucking credit card people, and now they don't even want us to buy the guns with the credit cards. But I don't give a fuck because I never bought my shit with credit cards any fucking way. But that let you know the type of um the 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 what we are living in right now. The climate that we are living in is so fucking crazy and anti gun that. You know, they paint us out to be the, 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 the nuts, the crazy ones. When in fact, it's they stinking asses. I'm sick of this shit. I'm sick of it. I'm, I'm, 
Now we got over 100 illegal guns on the streets in Michigan right now. In Metro Detroit, in the smaller suburbs, we got over 100 goddamn uh, 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 guns that's on the goddamn streets now. And I'm mad because they took that goddamn pink AR-15. I was planning on getting that for my woman. And none of them motherfuckers on went in there and took the shit. You can't have shit for a fucking savage. But anyway, what up though, Wicked, Wicked and Then Thought and Dante Swain? What's up? I love y'all. Appreciate y'all. No, uh, Timmy, we are not the bad guys. We are the righteous ones that's going to protect the sheep, protect the innocent people. A lot of people just don't have it in them to have guns. They fucking, they, they, they need to be unplugged from that fucking matrix, man, and realize that that shit can happen to anybody. Now, I have one more video to um, share, and this is heartbreaking right here, man. This is, what the fuck is going on, man, it, 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 where, where gun shops are being targeted? Is this shit a part of some type of grand conspiracy? Where they go, where they want the guns on the streets, so they can have more excuses to try to crack down on us. What the fuck is going on? But check this shit out right here. Check this motherfucker. Look at this shit. Let's see the edit mode right here. Check this shit out, man. This, hey, y'all see this shit? Hold on. This shit is ridiculous. You got eight savages. <clears throat> now, I told y'all when I was up in there, I saw somebody. It, 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 it just rubbed me the wrong way, man. It, I, I know when something I know when something don't look right. You know what I'm saying? You, you, you just got that radar. You just sense that something ain't right. I think he was in there casing it, man. I really do. But here we go, y'all. Check this shit out. In Westland, a band of thieves use a vehicle to gain access to a gun store. Look at the video here. Uh, they grabbed his mini weapon. In Westland. Hold on, y'all. And by the way, that's Freedom Holsters, a.k.a. Armed in Michigan. That's Freedom Holsters. That's the video of it. And a band of thieves use... In Westland, a band of thieves use a vehicle to gain access to a gun store. Look at the video here. Uh, they grabbed as many weapons as they could. It appears that this isn't the only weapons heist. Fox News' Randy Wembley joins us live with more on his wanted dangerous men. Hey guys, the feds are offering cold hard cash for help putting these guys behind bars. Not only did they drive into the gun and pawn shop, but police tell me they have their own security on standby, providing lookout, as they did it. A surveillance camera captures the moments after an SUV came crashing into a gun shop in Westland. About eight people spilled out of the truck. Hold on, y'all. You see what the fuck I'm talking about? That's my beloved Freedom Holsters. That's our... That is armed in fucking Michigan, man. That's my boy Spencer's shot that they, uh, you know, disrespecting. And, you know, it, it just rubbed me the fucking wrong way. And if I would have been there, man, I would have kicked their motherfucking asses. You understand? You know, I ain't got to have a motherfucking gun. You understand? I'm good with these motherfucking hands right here. I'm very deadly and proficient with these motherfucking hands. When I put my motherfucking hands on your motherfucking ass. You feel me? I'll send you the funky tongue with my motherfucking hands. I ain't got to have a motherfucking gun. You understand? It's fucked up. And it pisses me the fuck off. And I wish them motherfuckers, they probably, you know, if they know about, if they know about Spencer and them, then they probably know about me and all of the guns that I have. So imagine if I got eight motherfucking savages bearing down on me, but I'm going to be ready to send each and every one of their funky asses to funky time because I don't fucking play. But I'm telling y'all, if y'all think this shit is a joke, you will have eight motherfucking savages, four on your, on your, on your side, though, another four 
in, on your back door and then see more at your front door, kicking it all in at the same time. So you not, don't listen to Joe Biden old ass. Don't listen to him, because I guarantee you, listen, I guarantee you his secret fucking service detail ain't got no motherfucking shotguns, no ammo fuds. I guarantee you that. So what's good for his stinking ass should be good for ours. Fuck that motherfucker. Let's get back to it. And oh my God, man, I'm, I'm, I'm worked up. Look at this shit, man, what they did to my boys, gunshot. A surveillance camera captures the moments after an SUV came crashing into a gun shop in Westland. About eight people spilled out of the truck, smashing open displays and grabbing upwards of 50 guns early Sunday morning. It hurts. It truly really does hurt because they're, whatever they do with their guns, we don't know what they're going to do, where they're going to do it at, what. It's just terrible. Spencer Wald owns Armed in Michigan on South Wayne Road and says this brazen break-in was well-planned. They, they got the good stuff. <laughs> they got the expensive stuff. So you feel like they cased and joined out before? 100%. Yeah, they strategically picked and choose. The thieves used the stolen Kia SUV to break into the gun shop. They would leave it there at the scene. They ran to their getaway vehicle waiting across the street, dropping a few guns along the way. And about an hour after that break-in at the gun shop in Westland, the exact same thing happened at this pawn shop in Dearborn Heights. The suspects are seen inside going after long guns and with handfuls of AK pistols. Police say the same crew came back later after midnight, hitting the pawn shop a second time. They got away with nearly 50 guns. Last night, we did engage in a vehicle pursuit with uh, some of the suspects, uh, which the officers uh, very appropriately uh, terminated the pursuit because it became very dangerous to the public. Chief Jared Hart of the Dearborn Heights Police Department is working alongside the ATF to crack the case. The feds are offering a $20,000 reward for information leading to the arrest and conviction of the suspects. Well, this is a, a very serious uh, call out to the public that if you recognize anyone in the photographs, please contact the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms. Authorities tell me the same crew who hit the pawn shop may also be responsible for the break-in in Westland. The burglaries come as the Biden administration and Democrats in Washington work to restrict civilian firearm ownership. And as the gun control lobby pressures credit card companies to track firearm purchases. And as the gun control lobby pressures credit card companies the burglaries come as the Biden administration and Democrats in Washington work to restrict civilian firearm ownership. Hey, did y'all hear that? The Biden administration and the Democrats are trying to restrict uh, uh, gun ownership by us American citizens. Did, you, did, did, you, did y'all hear that? I had to play it back. Did y'all hear what they're trying to do? They're trying to restrict uh, gun ownership by uh, uh, law-abiding citizens. I just want to—I want to replay that so y'all can hear that, so y'all can see what we up against. So let me hold on, y'all. Let me. This shit, man, it, it just got—it's got my blood boiling. Again, in Westland, the burglaries come as the Biden administration and Democrats in Washington work to restrict civilian firearm ownership. And as the gun control lobby pressures credit card companies to track firearm purchases, Wong says the break-ins show just how far criminals will go to get guns. I mean, there was a gun shop in Livonia. They broke through the ceiling and came down. Um, so they they don't care. They, they'll just come. It's kind, of, it's kind of savage. They'll do whatever they want. They don't care. Now the ATF is putting gun shops and pawn shops on notice, urging them to step up their security. That's what the owner of the uh, Armed in Michigan here says he will be doing in light of what happened here and in Dearborn Heights. Anyone with information about these burglaries, you are asked to call the ATF or reach out to them. Their information will be on our website, fox2detroit.com. Taryn, Brandon. Well, Randy, it seems like there's a very premeditated pattern here. And when you're using, though, a vehicle to break into a business, what is the owner supposed to do? It seems very difficult to be able to step up your security to go against a vehicle. 
Well, you know what? Interestingly enough, here at uh, Armed in Michigan, they have a barricade uh, in the back of the building because they always assumed if someone would try to break in, that's the only way they could really do it. They would probably try to drive in from the back of the building. They would never have thought they never would have thought that someone would be bold enough, brazen enough to do so from the front of the building in full view of other drivers here on the street. But that is exactly what happened. They're going to be stepping up their security and doing everything they say that they can to keep something like this from happening again and to keep these firearms from ending up in the wrong hands. Well, some of those individuals were not wearing masks, so hopefully someone will say something and come forward. Randy, thank you so much. Man, that's awful, man. That's... It's like I feel like we under attack. And we are under attack by this from the fucking savages and from this fucking savage anti-gun government, man. So it's yeah, uh they had an alarm system, you know, they had an alarm system there, they had motion detectors, all that shit. They 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 had it, but I mean that's just like right now. We can it, it, in your crib, you can have all the alarm systems you, you, you want in your in your home. But if them motherfuckers, you know, uh, smash in your door or whatever, they don't give a fuck about that alarm going off. It's going to be a hitting fucking one. You understand? It's going to be a hitting one. They don't care. I've seen where people don't been home invasions where they don't hook the fuck. They don't drove up in the fucking U-Haul and drag the fucking door off his hinges with the fucking U-Haul and run up in there. And murk everybody in there and take whatever the fuck they want. If they, if a savage is determined to uh, to, to to do something, man, they're going to do it. So the, your, your best defense is being strapped up, armed, and ready and have a fucking AK or a fucking AR-15 and be ready for their stinking asses. I guarantee you when them eight savages went up in that gun shop, if it would have been an armed security guard with, with, with an AR or AK, they wouldn't have went up in there like that. You already know. They, they wouldn't have, they would have not went up in there like that. But you know what? I just want to, um, I want to give a, a special shout out and salute to all 117 of y'all up in here. I love y'all. I had to share that footage. Listen, y'all stay strapped. Y'all stay armed. Y'all stay fucking righteous. Stay responsible. And when that motherfucking savage try you, do not motherfucking hesitate to send his goddamn ass to Funky Town. I love y'all, Down Freak Nation. We are the best. And by the way, we about to be 18,000 strong. You understand? We like we like twenty subs away from being uh, eighteen thousand strong. We are gonna hit that twenty thousand in a minute. All right, we gonna hit that twenty thousand, and then from twenty thousand, it's gonna turn into fifty thousand. And when you know when it's fifty thousand, they probably gonna arrest me and say I'm some type of deranged terrorist, or you know uh, I'm gonna be an oath keeper or the Proud Boys or some shit like that. They gonna I'm gonna be under surveillance. I'm probably already under surveillance right now. You feel me? They probably already watching me, tapping my phone. I don't give a fuck. They can suck my dick, kiss my motherfucking ass. I don't give a damn. I'm all legal all day, every day. Suck my motherfucking dick. Come take these motherfucking guns if you can, motherfucker. Like I said, I'm good with these motherfucking hands. I'll jack a motherfucker up. I don't need my motherfucking guns. You hear me? I fuck a motherfucker up with these. You see these right here? You see these motherfuckers right here? I I I fuck a motherfucker up. Forgive the uh, pussy juice right here, uh, and the put uh, the pussy hair and the pussy juice. No, ignore that. But I still fuck a motherfucker up. You hear me? I I I tap a I tap a savage on this motherfucking ass. So let them come on up in here and try me. I'll stick my foot up their ass. All right. But if they got a fucking gun, if they got a fucking gun, then I got. I got some way better. You understand? But I'm good. D hey, I'm good with these. Don't get it twisted, you fucking savages. Because I know you out there watching, motherfucker, and you're trying to get my location. You know what I'm saying? But come up in here. 
Come up in here. I got these right here, motherfucker. I got, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna knock you on your motherfucking ass. So I wish you would try to come up in here. These fucking services. Yeah, they watching me, y'all. They watching me. Just like they got Spencer, they watching me too. Cause they know I got some, they, they know I got some shit too. Oh, baby, I got plenty of shit. And I know them fucking savages want me, but hey, I, hey, I ain't going out like no motherfucking sucker. They can suck my motherfucking dick, but I'm out of here. I'm out this motherfucker, and I love y'all gun freak motherfucking nation. Stand up, stand proud, and stay motherfucking armed, and who gives a fuck about this anti-gun motherfucking bitch-ass president? Fuck you, Biden, bitch.